Okay, this is now the five minute tarot for the 14th of February 2017. And today and tomorrow, I think, go together or will go together. Because somebody, Chris, um, tried a three card spread on, and the question was, will his tarot studies go well? So the three cards were the, the for past, present, and future, were the, um, the nine of coins, the ace of batons, and the five of coins. And he wasn't sure about what the five of coins means in the future because he's thinking, does this mean things are going to go badly? So I'd like to look at the question and the cards that came up. And I would, today I'll look at card one and then you can think about what you would say for cards two and three. And then tomorrow or whenever you look at it, um, you'll get my take on it. Okay, so the question was, will his studies go well? And um, my first th thought is, what, it, it depends what you mean by well, because, <coughs> excuse me, um, how, how things will go depends to some extent on who the questioner is. Because if you're the kind of person or if the questioner is the type of person who gives up easily, then a card that shows difficulty can have a great deal of impact and show a huge problem. Whereas if you're the kind of person who has confidence and is optimistic, then that same card of difficulty will be looked upon as a challenge and a stepping stone to something better. So for one person, the Three of Swords, let's say, represents abysmal, dreadful upset. For somebody else, it means, okay, there's a, there's a glitch, there's a, a, a dip in the road, but I'll get over it. So let me see what I can make of it. So will, will, will his studies go well? Really depends on what he means by well and what kind of person he is. So we don't, I think, I, I don't think it's a good idea to change the question. Although it, the question might have been better phrased as how can he make his studies go well? But that's not what he asks. He wants to know, will they go well? But the reader can pick a card at random and know just to, to know what kind of person we're dealing with. right? So you're shuffling and you pick a card. You think to yourself, OK, what kind of person is this? And you pick a card and you get the King of Batons. Then you know how to talk about the cards that come up. Whereas if you get the Three of Swords reversed, then you have the idea that the questioner is sensitive, feeling overwhelmed, um, not confident, expecting problems. So you would you would be maybe more gentle with cards of difficulty. So you're not changing the question, but you're um, approaching the answer differently depending on the card that you got for the questioner um so uh that i need to look at my piece of paper here i uh, don't change, okay so um what did i write next oh yeah okay so chris then explained what he what he sent he made of it so with the nine of pentacles um, he, he, he explained that he's financially comfortable, right? Because the Nine of Pentacles is this fellow in, the, in the, the garden and he's got, obviously, he's comfortable and wealthy or he's got financial security, we can say. So Chris said the Nine of Pentacles in the past made sense because he's financially and has been financially comfortable for a while. And also his education involved to some extent um, uh, philosophy and mythology, right? So he's kind of got a little bit of a background. So he, he thought the Nine of Pentacles made sense. And then the Ace of Batons is something different. But I, th I think the problem is, or I would quibble, disagree with Chris in that he's, he's starting with the Nine of Pentacles as being financial security and seeing proof of that in his life. So I think it's always difficult when you start with the meaning and then refer it to the question, because sometimes if it's an obvious fit, that's okay. 
but maybe it's okay. But if it's not an obvious fit, you tend to start seeing what you want to see and and twisting things to make it fit. That's if you start with a card. Whereas I think when when you turn that first card and get the nine of pentacles, remind yourself of what the question is. Because the question is, will, will my tarot studies go well? So the card for the past represents Chris last week or last year or 10 years ago because it's about his tarot studies, right? Not about his financial security or his financial state because that really has nothing to do with studying the tarot. So if you can reread the question, and this is one of the reasons for writing down the question, reread the question and remind yourself that's a starting point. So will my studies go well? The past is a nine of pentacles showing somebody who's comfortable. So I think it's an indication that Chris recognizes great value in the tarot. His starting point is because some people come to the tarot hoping for magical power or to become psychic or um, for reassurance that things are going to go well. But Chris comes to the tarot understanding that the tarot has great value, is powerful, uh, makes sense, and has a deeper wisdom, let's say, than people would normally give it credit for. So I think that's the importance, or that's what I would say is the importance of the Nine of Pentacles in the past, that it tells us about Chris's starting point when it comes to the tarot. He recognizes it's got great possibilities and great value. And that's that's he's going to develop on that understanding rather than coming to it thinking, um, this is going to save my life because I don't see another way out of it or something like that, um, a more fatalistic approach or a more keeping my fingers crossed that that I'm going to get success this way. That's not Chris's point of view or his starting position. So the Nine of Pentacles in the past. So tomorrow we'll look at the Ace of Batons for the present and the Five of Coins for the future. Um, and I think that's it. So thank you very much for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye.